Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the continuation of Doom 2016 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel 2023. I don't know why I pointed out the year at which the game came out, but let's just go with it. So on this one, we're going to continue the story and we have finally arrived to hell because Olivia managed to open the damn portal. So. With that said, we're gonna have a lot of collectibles to again go through, and hopefully I did manage to make that snapshot quite well. I need the thumbnail for the video, and I never know what to use, so we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. So once again, we're gonna try to go for all sorts of collectibles. There are two, four, six secrets. We have four elite guard points, one argent cell, one field drone and two room trials so hopefully we're going to be able to find them it's actually starting to show us off some of these things so let's jump into it and have some fun with the hellish landscape oh my god you guys have probably stayed in the beauty salon a little too long huh i don't know the tanning beds are probably cranked up a little bit too much we'll set up a portal device at the tomb use the light poles to mark our path the strange thing is that they were all looking away or towards the marker and not around like making a grid so i'm not really sure how secure that is going to be like i said i have no idea what am i going to use for the thumbnail and one thing which i absolutely hate about steam is that if you play a game on one pc it, it somehow does not transfer your screenshots and stuff like that to the other pc at, at least i have not really figured out the way for it i would probably have to like relocate all the data but i uninstalled steam from my old computer so now it's only on my big computer and so on and such so i guess it's pointless to discuss it so our first secret is going to be actually over there that shield so it's it's quite easy to get there uh we can get a nice triple kill there so all you need to do in case you're running low on armor is to make your way over to that spot And because we are in the hellish landscape, uh... I that was a really bad choice of weapon to use on a stupid imp. But okay, uh, mistakes were made. I'm gonna try to avoid doing something so dumb. So all you need to do is jump up up here. And there you go, your first official secret. That, that's it, that's all you get. It's a secret. I'm starting to feel like... I'm not having the correct module installed on the damn weapon because it was never overheating. And now we need the yellow skull for us to open up those doors. And the yellow skull is somewhere down here. So we're gonna have to descend down here. And this is a big arena with lots of these manky buses or honky buses or chunky buses. Uh, whatever. Uh, I don't recall all their names. So let's just roll with it. And unfortunately, the second one is literally behind. Okay, that one. Here. You look like you don't have enough red meat in your diet or something. Okay, 
Okay, my hectic approach to dealing with the arenas is not really that effective in here. I don't really want to use this. I'm taking unnecessary damage there. Oh, come on. I know there's one more. Somewhere, right? No? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they really don't like this weapon. Did I kill that Hell Knight? That answers that question. Oh crap. You brought the friends. How oh, nice. I just did not get the memo. Okay. And apparently, no glory kill for me. So these arenas are going to be spawning in quite a lot of demons because, well, let's face it, we are on their home turf. So making sure that I have all the gear and all the ammo and everything is going to be absolutely necessary. So what we need to do now is just basically run up here. We can grab all this armor and we're going to have to press the skull. It's going to open up that gate. And that's where we need to go in order for us to pick up the yellow skull. The yellow skull is going to be our first key. Think of it as the equivalent of the yellow key card which we had at the UAC facility so far. This is the blue gate, so that's not where we are supposed to go. We're gonna have to head back through once we came. There was that big, big gate. And that one is locked, so... Hold on, because I keep getting lost over and over again. I don't understand how this is possible. Okay, there's our... There's our gate. That's where we need to go. I, I just see all this armor, hence why I'm collecting it. God, I love the design of this game. The hellish landscape looks almost like my living room. So anyhow, we're, we're gonna open up these doors, and through these doors, we're gonna actually get to a chamber where there's gonna be a data link or the room trial and the uh, Praetor token suit. Yeah, so this is where we have a room trial and Praetor token suit. So we're gonna pick this one up. And we're gonna now get entertained by my terrible FPS skills. So get ready for... In the first battle, when the oh, this is the codex? Okay, so it's data log. I I could have sworn it, it looked like the room trial almost, but oh well. Anyhow, so that's all the collectibles so far, which we have picked up. We're gonna be running around this map quite a bit, returning to some sequences before we get to the part from where we like cannot go really back and blah 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 blah. So. Kamehameha, I can do that too. Probably a little bit better, but uh, what the hell. Okay, so our goal is to get over there through those damn doors. I hate those ladies, but uh, it is what it is. We gotta get rid of all of them. Let's try to not embarrass myself on YouTube too much. I actually look like I know what the hell am I doing this time. 
I keep hearing all these gnarly noises. Let's jump up here. And I'm waiting for the... What the hell did he do with his leg? Did you guys see that? That was so freaking weird. Go away. He said go away. I like to mumbo, but not that much. Where the hell is she? I'm assuming it's a she. There we go. Beautiful headshot. Don't ask me how I did it. I have no idea. Okay, I see the Hell Knight. Oh wow, a second one. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Whoa! You guys are kind of overdoing it there. I mean, I like to party, but you guys are really, really... Not giving me too much room here. There you go. I think that did it. And now those doors are opened. And that's where we need to go. Oh my god. Dead by Snoo Snoo. Uh, no. I think his pelvis would need to be, like, crushed. But... Uh, who gets the reference, let me know in the comment section. At least I will know someone is watching this. Because let's face it, I kind of got really into Doom and I recorded a whole bunch of episodes and by the time it's gonna be up on the channel, huh, I'll have to record something else as well. So that'll be interesting. But at least I have content for the channel while I work on the bigger projects. Alrighty, uh, so... Here's another chainsaw. Map has been updated. And our objective is to make it all the way up there. If I recall this correctly. Maybe I don't, maybe I do. Who knows, we'll see. I'll definitely have to consult the notes, but right now I think we are on the right path, so. Let's try to make it up there. So this is where you press this gate. This is gonna open up that thing down there. That has a bunch of these goons in there. So we're gonna just get rid of them. There you go. Okay, so the portal. You can use it, but don't use it first. You want to do actually this. You want to go to the right. And this is where your first collectible Doom statue is for this mission. I think this is the Revenant edition. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and now what you need to do is go through here. We appear inside of this cave. The doors are locked. We can pick up this, but the goal here is to pick up, of course, the blue skull. Now we're returning back to where we came from. Let's grab some ammo. I haven't used too much shotgun or shotgun. Dumbass. Too much, uh... Chainsaw. Nice, I actually managed to get that one and killed by that grenade. <laughs> fun stuff. Okay, now I think we're gonna have to go back down because there's the blue gate, but we're gonna actually bypass the blue gate first and we're gonna hop over there and make our way over like through that wall. So what we need to do, we can descend down here. 
and here we have this guy. They're really, really ramping things up this time. And yeah, the glory kill in the sequel is absolutely amazing because you can like shot grenade or stuff inside of its mouth, but uh, I still like this game. It's lots of fun. And I hope that the footage is gonna be a okay. Whoa! Where the hell did you come from? Okay, buddy. A little too close and personal for my like. And my personal. Whoa! Dude! Some personal space would be nice. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he's dead. Nice. Just managed to kill him as the quad core damage, or what you call it, was running out. Quite nice. Okay, let's just mark this guy. I was really hoping I would be able to execute that glory kill on him, but unfortunately that Revenant screwed it up for me. And now there's two of them! Son of a biscuit! Okay, I'm not gonna pass out on this opportunity. Okay, so that has cleared out the arena once again. So, now, what we need to do, don't go through the blue door if you want to go for the collectibles. What you need to do is get up here, hop up onto this little rock, and there we see the Argin cell. So we're gonna get there once we like cross the uh, doors. When we open up the blue doors, uh, this is a room trial, so what ammo? Now this is gonna be fun. Uh, reach the altar. I'm gonna absolutely, absolutely suck at this one because if I recall what this is from all the way back when I last played this, I absolutely suck at the uh, jumping around like a total dum dum in here. I, I just. Oh come on! I already effed up. Damn it to hell. I was so close. So the objective is basically you need to keep killing all the imps and uh, if you don't kill them, you are not capable of moving. If you aren't capable of moving, you cannot make it further. Down the map. And you need to kill these bastards in order for the timer to not stop, but as you can clearly see Son of a bitch I should have probably killed the one on the right in order to maintain the speed Yep, yep, if you don't kill them, you, you just start slowing down. I hate this room trial, but we're gonna get it done. Son of a bitch, seriously?
Finally. So we can perform glory kills much faster. That can be quite useful. Especially if you're like ganged up around by a bunch of enemies. It can be quite annoying. So there goes this. And now what we need to do is go back to where we would go through the blue gate. We're gonna insert our key. And I think tattoos on the face are stupid, but having like things ridged out or cut into your skull, that that's hardcore. Okay, so here we have our Argent Cell. Once again, I prioritize armor and ammunition. So, let's catch up with the armor. Okay, so now we're gonna head out into the next sequence. We're again being introduced to brand new type of enemies. I don't recall the name of these floating skulls, but they are annoying as hell. I think I'm a little bit better at this type of weaponry and shooting these big-ass projectiles. Okay, so the secret which we're gonna be going over here is gonna be a new weapon and we're gonna also try to get a Praetor suit token. Eat that. Okay, so... The skulls. Okay, I wasn't sure if that Revenant was dead. Anyhow... Uh, so what we need to do is descend down here. And we need to continue here. That's for punching me, dumbass. So we need to continue down here. And there's a cave. And in this cave, you have a Commander Keen secret. And also, you have the minigun. This thing is absolute blast once you get the upgrade with like the three rotationary turrets. It absolutely is capable of like mowing down the enemies. It's lots of fun. I don't like the version where you turn it into like a stationary thing, if I recall it correctly. So yeah, don't, don't mess around with that. Awesome skull. I mean, seriously, look at that. That looks just dope as hell. So what we need to do now is uh, go across here, which of course, a little bit more tricky to do, but we can manage. And the goal of basically us running through here is to get to the next Praetor Suit token. come from you're you know like personal space nothing I don't think they cannot really follow you in here but still a little bit annoying so here is our prayer suit token Which reminds me, I should directly go ahead and try to use some of these points, right? Uh, let's see. Increase total number of equipment charges. Let's go for it. Why the hell not? Uh, what do we have? Uh, these upgrades improve the effects of power-ups. Yeah, sure, why the hell not? And we have a uh, wrong key. Ha ha ha. We have quite a lot of weapon points. So, bottomless missile. Stick for different demons okay uh 
we have the uranium coating hold on let's take a look at what potential upgrades we can put on what let's go with this we have locked this quick lock we can do that no we cannot because we are out of the charges okay it's gonna take a while for us to accumulate again these points but uh that's that so now what we need to do is crack open those doors and uh, what you need to do is use these islands to hop over there so i think i will have to redo this So our objective is to make it over there. I just really wanted that big piece of armor. I did not really want it to leave it behind since the guys from hell are so nice that they leave actually usable stuff for the Doom Slayer in here. So all we need to do is don't screw this up. So once you pick up the Praetor Suit token, once you pick up the minigun, you are able to go down there. Okay, so let's continue. In this next sequence, we're going to be able to get the map to this place. And of course, we have another big arena, so that means a whole bunch of enemies. It'd be just awesome if I can stick those rockets to multiple targets. Where are the Hell Knights? I saw them. I could have sworn I saw them. Yeah, no, like when you have just a basic weapon, it absolutely sucks. It's no fun. You have to wait for God knows how long for it to charge up. Uh, spin the rotor in order for it to become effective and whatnot. And it's just no funny. No funny business. Damn, I don't think you stick that landing the way you wanted it to. Just seeing. We're having the haste now. We're just gonna mess around with them. Uh, it's going a little too fast. One thing is, it actually works also on the reload. How fun is that? I could have sworn something alive landed there. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, apparently they don't like shotgun shells to the back. So once you get like through here, I'm not sure if you can come back. So you gotta be careful. Uh, this mission can cause those types of problems. Yeah, I think he's gonna need a face transplant of some sort. So, uh, you can go through there, but what you want to actually do is go in here, because this is where you can pick up your map. And uh, once you have the map, you will be able to like uh, stop clicking on the wrong keys and start looking through all the secrets which are in your vicinity so we have like for example uh there's gonna be a bunch of data logs uh we're gonna have the doom slayer statue there's gonna be another praetor suit token but everything until that point where we were has been picked up so we should be okay these are just some of the power-ups which i haven't really used through the arenas but uh, i think when you play this on like the super hard difficulty or the ultra nightmare or whatever it's actually better for you to pick up all these things because well let's face it you need all the help that you can get so uh here is where we find the next room trial 
Use heavy assault rifle to weaken and perform death from above glory kills on three hell knights. This is gonna be fun as hell. Get it? Because we're stuck in hell? Now oh, let's see where these guys are. Careful though, we want to weaken him, but we don't want to kill him because then you have to summon the fourth one, and that just takes a whole lot more time. Are you there? Ah, crap, that did not count as the objective. I wasn't close enough for it to recognize the glory kill as the one which I need to perform. And there we go. So we can launch into glory kills from further away. And I believe we can have potentially a combo of two uh, of the runes. And they can work quite well together. So, uh, vacuum is fun, but honestly, uh, let's say, uh, launch into glory kill from much further away and then perform glory kill faster. If you have this combination, you can actually do like quite a lot of fun stuff with it because you're charging at them from further and you're doing it faster. So that's basically benefiting both of these things. Okay, now for me to figure out what to do next. Okay, so here is where we need to do uh, or go. And this is where you see the shield. And so if we take a look at that map, we see that there's a little doom statue. So what you need to do is climb up over here. And here we have another little toy. It's so cute. Okay. Uh, and with that... We're going to have now like a succession of quickly moving or quickly adjacent uh, things. So over there, you see that there's a drone. There's going to be data lock. We're going to first go over here so that I don't forget about these things. So here is a Praetor suit token. Then we have a data log over here. It's like literally next to it. And then we have another one of these weird things, which is gonna be that dude who sounds like Wayne Jude from Darkest Dungeon. Tempered by the fires of hell, his iron will remains steadfast through the passage that preys upon the weak. For he alone was the Hellwalker, the unchained predator who sought retribution in all quarters. Dark and light, fire and ice, in the beginning and the end. And he hunted the slaves of doom with barbarous cruelty. For he passed through the divide as none but demon had before. And now we can go back through once we came. And we are gonna just jump up here, go over there. That's where that robot is located. So we need to pick this up and we have a lot of options. I honestly, um, transform the weapon barrel into mobile turrets uh, if it starts overheating. Gatling rotator. Uh, I think this is the weapon mod button can spin the chain gun barrels without firing. I'm not sure which one is it right now, damn it. Uh... Yeah, this is. I think I'll go with this one. Or should we. This is what gives us those multiple turrets but, uh, or barrels to shoot from, but I'm not sure if it's gonna turn me into more stationary target. 
Ah, screw it. We're gonna get eventually another modification so we can upgrade this DM thing even more. But as you can see, the movement is not affected. So there goes that. And there goes another data lock. So until now, we should have been able to pick up everything. And now we're gonna go through that uh, lovely, lovely mouth of the serpent. Yeah, it seems like hell is not really something which they covered during HR's onboarding plan. I, I, I don't know. And now we get to the next section. We need to head, I believe, up. And we're going to be battling some big, big things here. Why the hell did I not perform the glory kill on that dude? I don't know. But yeah, performing them faster, definitely a big plus. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? gonna have to do that yep oh crap there's another baron let's go with the quad damage uh, apparently then the freaking sawed off shotgun is capable of doing quite a lot oh crap that i did not want to use that ammo that was not what i wanted to showcase but let's just run with it. So I can definitely see why the UAC soldiers struggle here a little bit. Am I out of ammo? nice okay so our secret is located over here we need to go into that dark cave and there is gonna be a lever because even in hell there is a secret doom level uh just somehow weirdly lit but i swear to god it's in here so i'm not sure it should be a bit better lit up but anyhow so once you like pull that lever, the thing you need to go over there. And if you go over through there, you need to like descend down here. And he grows the secret level. And you need to like go even all the way to the back of the doom slot of despair. And it's quite the pickle. And then you have to like press this weird skull and that opens up a max health or mega health. So there goes something. So this is the secret level. Okay, so let's continue this fun adventure. So I'm not sure if now the doors are able to open up. So we're gonna continue. As you can see, there's still a Praetor token suit point left. Everything else otherwise should have been taken care of. We're just gonna have to get to like a different portion of the map in order to be able to access these other things so let's descend down into the depths of hell that was rude as hell oh yeah i think i saw a revenant 
The fun thing is that at least they are battling each other. So if they're distracted enough... They will actually not shoot at you. Alrighty. So that took care of these idiots. Now, do not F this up because we're going to be doing lots of hopping around. And like I said, that's my least favorite part about the game in general. So I'm going to try to stick all the landings, although no promises can be made. Are they that far or am I out of ammo? Yeah, they must have been that far. Alrighty. So, w we need to get over there because there's a data log. So, I'm gonna do these jumps. Whee! Did not die. That's awesome. I already see him coming down the stairs. What the hell do you think? This is fashion show? How the hell did that rocket not hit him? What the hell? So we're gonna pick this one up. So that's for Mancubus. So that's our data log. And now to make our way up there. So we want to jump up here. Yeah, they really don't like this. We're going to continue through here. And here is the next audio log, if you will. Alrighty. So over here is our prayer suit token. Uh, you guys, you are moving way too funkily. I wasn't able to hit you. Alrighty. So there goes that prayer suit token. Why are you already so bloody? I haven't even touched you yet. These are the explosive things which you can use. Man, look at this bottom jaw alone. Someone hasn't been at the dentist. One is missing. Naughty, naughty demons. Not washing your teeth. Or brushing your teeth or whatever. Okay, do we have everything? Yeah, so we have all the secrets. We have the four elite guard points, we have field drones, we have two room trials, we had an Argent cell. I think there's gonna be one more data log in here and that's gonna be it. So if you did like this one, uh, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more, check out the playlist and uh, I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all not in hell, but in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye bye for now. Yeah, quite sure I'm gonna have to battle some big-ass demon in here. Why else would you give me all this junk to use, huh? Ah, man. They never learn. The bigger they are, the harder they fall.
Ah, crap, I already used it. Damn it. I was hoping it would last a little longer. And who cracked open the window? I can't see Jack Squad in here. Yeah, with the Revenants, the glory kill guard much faster, I guess. Why does it take so freaking long to shoot the damn rockets? Crap, that did not go well. Ah, crap. be nice to grab some armor. Seriously, what is up with all this dust in the air? My asthma is acting up, and I don't have asthma. Yeah, well, that kind of did not work out for the two dummies. I was kind of able to kill them off both at the same time. Ha 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 